my first question out the door was, you, you don't normally play from behind. How did it feel to be down 16 to nothing? What were you, what was going through your mind? What, you know, cause I know as a fan now, I don't know about you, but I mean, I was panicking. I was like, this is, this is not good. This is a really <laughs> good team. It's probably the best team that Clemson has played in a, in a long time. And I was, I was very nervous. But most of the players, I think they've been kind of coached. You know, they've probably been coached on this. Most of the players said, oh, you know, I just focus on the next play, focus on what I'm supposed to do, focus on the person in front of me or, or whatever my assignment is. I don't look at the scoreboard. But they all felt like neither one of them talked about being from behind. None of them talked about being from behind. I mean offense or defense. Right. They all talked about sticking together, you know, keeping your assignment, playing as a team and just working through it. And that's exactly what happened. You know, it's nice to see Clemson come back from from behind as much because they haven't done that. Sure, absolutely. That's not a position they're used to being in at all, especially not with as bad as the ACC was this year. Obviously, we've talked a little bit about that on this show. And, I mean, they were, you know, won most games by 40-plus, 40, 40 except for, of course, the North Carolina game that everybody wants to talk about, uh, that everybody's wanted to point to since the beginning of the year. And that's why we weren't going to do anything in the playoffs is because, you know, we barely hung on against UNC. You know, it was our – it was our loss that everybody wanted to talk about just about, you know, uh, it's kind of the narrative that's been pushed all year. And I, and I asked the guys, I said, I said, what do you, do you, do you prepare specifically for Chase Young? And they said, you know, they do know Chase Young. They, they do try to, I mean, it's kind of hard to emulate. I mean, we've got to get, give him credit. I mean, he is a freak of nature. Yeah. He, he is a beast. He is definitely a first round draft pick. He is somebody that, you know, the offensive line, Tremaine Akram and, and a lot of guys there said, Hey, it hurt, <laughs> you know, when he came at you. It hurt. <laughs> so it, he's definitely a great football player. They didn't necessarily worry so much about him specifically because you can't really duplicate. But even though XT said he did try to, in practice, duplicate, uh, be that guy, you know, that was that Chase Young type guy mm -hmm. uh, for the offensive line. Uh, but the offensive line said, you know, what they try to do is they try to stick to their the fundamentals stick to the Clemson game plan, which, you know, it's, it goes back to that's the media talk, right? It's the same old, yeah. same, same thing that they try to do. But it was interesting to hear from XT or really, you know, before I say XT, it was interesting to hear from Sean Pollard in the sense that he said, um, he said that he was really excited about and, and, and proud of what Brent Venables had done for the team. And I'm like, so you're not talking about your own positional coach? You're actually talking about a coach that's not even on offense. <laughs> and you're talking about the defensive coordinator. He said, yeah. He said, you know, every day we go into practice, we know that, that Brent Venables is trying to kill us. He is trying to attack us with every single piece that he can. He is trying to beat us and, you know, pick on them and make fun of them all week and show them up. And so they, Sean Pollard and the guys were saying, we're so excited about and, and thankful for Brent Venables in the sense that he doesn't take practice lightly. He actually tries to beat Clemson's offense and frustrate them all week. And so when they go into the game, you can't prepare for specific players, but they went into the game feeling like they, they, had, they had already had Clemson's best, so they know they could compete. And I heard you even had a little conversation with Don Munson, if you want to tell us a little bit about that. You know, I had to kind of, like you said, rub a little elbows. I wanted to try to get get the Morgan Thomas show with Big Al out there, get that name out there. <laughs> no, not really. But I did. Uh, I do admire Don Munson. You know, I've done a couple of play-by-play -play calls on YouTube. I, I said, Don, how do you – how did you come up with that call, the call that was like, you know, we strike gold the, – the Tigers have struck yeah. gold in California. Yeah. And he was like, I didn't even prep it. He didn't even he didn't even think of that beforehand. He just thought of it off the cuff. And I'm like, you gotta be really good if you can do that. I mean, just think of something like that. I asked him to tell me what's gonna be your if Clemson wins, what's gonna be like your your go to LSU or Louisiana saying? He's like, I don't have it. I'm just going to go with it. They've actually Al Ben Milstead and 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 Don Munson were saying that they have to go to, I believe, Chapel Hill for the basketball game. Yeah, and then they've got to go. So they they don't get they normally go with the football team, but because of the scheduling, they've got to go to the Chapel Hill for the basketball game, and then go and to 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 New Orleans. So they they got a long they got a lot of driving around to do. On the defensive side, like I said, I got to talk to De'Aaron Kendrick. Um, 
you know, he likes, he's that type of guy he mentioned about being physical, but also getting in the mental game because he was a wide receiver himself. So he likes to kind of play the mental game with the wide receivers. He likes to let the wide receivers know, hey, you just missed that ball. Or he <laughs> likes to he likes to remind the wide receivers how many times they didn't throw to them. So it's right. like it's like they're not gonna throw to you. Just get it, give it up, you know. I asked him to tell me his favorite Yo Mama joke and <laughs> he 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 didn't tell me, you know, that was probably off the list of acceptable answers or questions to add, to answer, but 